hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for another organization video today we are taking apart my small entryway closet we're taking every single thing out of there going through it all doing a big declutter we're cleaning it out and then we're going to reorganize everything back into the space i'm sharing some organization tips and tricks along the way and i hope this video helps to motivate you to tackle some organization project in your own home here i'm just sharing some before clips you can see it was a complete disaster in our entryway we didn't have enough space to store everything that we needed and so things were overflowing out into our dining room it was just a big mess really needed to be taken apart and reorganized and i'm going to take you guys along with me on this whole project Please ignore the mess behind me. I know my house is a disaster. We had a very busy weekend. Also, I'm pretty sure my neighbor is mowing his lawn. Either that or the people across the street. So if you can hear that, I apologize. But we just got back from Target and then I put the baby down for a nap real quick. We were getting an organizer for today's video. We are going to be completely taking apart the entryway closet and kind of revamping that space for the spring, getting all the winter stuff out of there, reorganizing the whole nine. So that's today's project. But while I was at Target, I picked up these Bellway products and I wanted to share them with you guys because today's video is actually sponsored by Bellway. I have been using Bellway products off and on since 2020 and fun fact, they were actually one of the first sponsors on my channel. But these products are new to me. They have the super fiber plus greens and then these are the super fiber capsules and side note i love that they have capsules now sometimes it's just so much more convenient to take a pill than it is to make a drink so this is a really good option especially if you're somebody who travels regularly they also have their just original super fruit and then they do have a collagen one as well that i really would like to try so as for the fiber plus greens this is a really good option for me because i'm sure i'm not alone in this but i i just don't get enough greens into my diet so this has organic kale spinach and broccoli i believe and then it also has the xylem husk in it i'm probably butchering that a scoop of this will give you a full serving of vegetables as well as five grams of fiber it's also going to help balance your gut it's going to support your immune system and your recovery and another thing is that it will help to kind of curb those hunger cravings by keeping you feeling full longer so therefore you'll Eat less calories throughout the day and it'll just help to keep your weight in check they have a variety of different bundles on their website so i will have their website in my description box down below and if you click that link that will also get you 25 percent off your first order at bellway thank you so much to bellway for sponsoring today's video i'm really excited to try this greens blend these capsules and i would definitely recommend that you guys try them out as well to just give yourselves and your gut a little bit of a boost this spring season Okay, so this is the organizer that I picked up from Target, and it's by the Bright Room line. I really like that line at Target. They have some good stuff. You guys will see there's kind of a little bit of a hiccup with this one, but we'll deal with that later. So obviously I filmed this on a different day because mom life took over and I just did not get it done on the day that I wanted to, but we are emptying out the closet now. When I do a project like this, I really like to empty the entire space out so I can see exactly what I'm working with, but also because I like to do a clean of the space so that when I put everything back in all organized, it's nice and clean and fresh. This has become kind of a twice a year thing for me. I will organize this closet going into the spring season and then I'll also organize it again going into the winter season. It's just easy when you have a young family to have things kind of pile up and get out of control and especially during the winter when you're wearing boots and you're wearing more layers, it's just harder to keep the space organized so it's always good to go through it at the end of the winter season especially. And here is just a close up of why I like to completely empty the space and clean it out before I get to organizing. I definitely don't want to organize everything all nice right into like dirt and everything else that's in there. But this is all the stuff that was in the closet on the floor. So many pairs of shoes. It's crazy. There's only four of us in our family and the baby, he really doesn't have many pairs of shoes. So 
the rest of us are really the issue and not him but this is also all of our bins full of hats and gloves all of our winter coats out on the table it's so crazy how much stuff can fit into one small space once you take it all out and take a look at it We added these shelves in, I believe it was last spring, and I stained them because I just thought that it looked nice and I was sick of the all white all the time. So I really like how this closet looks and this just helps to add lots of shoe storage for us or just storage for other things, but it still wasn't enough shoe storage for us. We don't have a master closet. My son's closet is mostly a place to store his things and his toys. So there just really isn't a place for us to put all of our shoes other than in our entryway closet. So obviously I wanted to declutter a little bit, but I knew that even after I decluttered, there would still be more shoes than what was going to fit on those three shelves. So I decided to go ahead and get an organizer that would go over the door so that I could use the door space to organize some shoes. So you guys will see here that I started to hang this organizer over the drawer and I pretty quickly realized that I think this is honestly a design flaw with this product because when you hang it over the door, the top has kind of a thick fabric because there's a shelf right at the top and that gets stuck in your door frame and your door will not close all the way. So this kind of frustrated and derailed me a little bit because my plan was to go through the shoes first and put things away that I knew we were going to keep and then put everything else aside to go through after. That's just kind of the way I like to do things when I'm organizing, but I ended up having to do everything completely differently because I could not fit this organizer on the back of the door and I wasn't sure if I was going to return it or if my husband and I could come up with another way to make it work. I wanted to keep moving despite the hiccup, so I decided to go through the shoes anyway, but I wanted to put them all into pairs and lay them all out in front of me so we could really see how many pairs of shoes we had. And then since my husband was actually home on this day working from home, he was able to go through his own shoes and decide which ones he wanted to keep and which ones he wanted to donate or throw away. My husband has a lot more pairs of shoes than the rest of us. He's definitely a shoe guy. I feel like every time I turn around, he's getting another new pair of shoes, but he is somebody that he likes to work in our yard outside. So he has shoes for working outside. He's got shoes for work. He's got shoes for the gym. And he also has different pairs of shoes depending on which workout he's doing at the gym. He's very into powerlifting. So I guess when you're doing deadlifts and things, you need different types of shoes so anyway he's got quite a collection and i was hoping that he would get rid of maybe a few more pairs than he ended up getting rid of but he did go through them and get rid of a couple so at least that's something and you guys will see we did find a solution in this video for that over the door organizer so it didn't end up being any issue at all storing the rest of the shoes that we kept This was when I asked my husband to come over and start going through his pairs of shoes. And I'm just showing you guys how many pairs he has. If we had a master closet, I'm sure this wouldn't be that big of a deal, but in such a small house, it's definitely a challenge to find storage for things like this. So anyway, he went through the shoes and at this point we had not decided what we were going to do about that organizer. So some of them we were putting aside in a box, others we were putting away into the closet, and then a couple of them we had put aside to get rid of. My husband only wanted to part with two pairs of shoes and you know what i like these ones and he only wore them one time <laughs> but apparently he doesn't like them so uh these shoes and these shoes are gone and then the rest they're in this bin and if we figure out how to make the door organizer work then we can put them in the closet but i'm starting to think that maybe that door organizer is a little bit excessive and i don't know maybe it's not working for a reason so probably um, will not use that one maybe i'll return it and find something smaller that we can put on the inside of the door but these shoes over here are ones that no longer fit carson so i'm going to save these ones for when Sutton gets bigger these ones are in good shape but the other ones that he has 
that he's kind of beaten to death i'm not going to save those for Sutton at that point i'd just buy him some new shoes but these ones like winter boots those are expensive so it's good to save those for when Sutton gets a little bit bigger and now i need to go through all of these coats we have a winter coat spin so some of them are just going to go into the bin some of them are Carson's old coats that no longer fit him. So again, I'll save those for Sutton. And then anything that does fit Carson, hopefully they'll fit him going into the next winter season, but we shouldn't need them anymore this season. So I'm going to get those put away in the winter coats bin in the basement. And then all of these, I need to figure out matches for gloves, hats that still fit the kids, things like that. So this is going to be kind of a project, but I would like to eliminate the masks bin because we really don't need them very often anymore and i'm just ready to move on from that chapter in my life so um yeah we're going to eliminate this bin and just have the hats and the gloves bins living in a small home we definitely have to rotate out our collections of things depending on what the season is so in this case i was taking all of the winter coats out and putting them aside so they could go into our winter coats bin which we store in our basement I always love this feeling in the springtime when I'm able to get all those winter coats out of there. They're just so bulky and just replace them with little rain jackets and just light jackets for the spring season. It's just such a nice feeling, especially when we're working with such a small space. It was really starting to stress me out how messy this was and I'm relieved that this project is finally done. I'm a big fan of bins and labeling bins. So I have these gloves and masks and hat bins that I put together back in spring of 2022, I believe when we first organized this closet. So I'm going through every single thing in them. There were a lot of gloves that no longer had a pair. So I was able to declutter those things since we must have lost them outside somewhere or at school or something like that. So I was able to go through that bin. I went through the hats bin as well. A lot of them no longer fit the kids. So I was able to put those aside, but then my husband's hats were also in that bin. And since I was trying to eliminate the masks bin, I decided that I was going to take all the masks out of there, put them into a different organizer just in case we ever need them. And then I ended up using one of the bins for my husband's hats. So that way, Things were separated a little bit and it was just easier for us to find what we're looking for. The reason why I kept the gloves bin out is because some of those gloves are for working outdoors or for doing things that you want to protect your hands. They're not all winter gloves, so I did keep that bin out even though the winter season is over. You guys know I love a good Lazy Susan for a small space and I've had this one in our entryway for a while. I wanted to go through it and just make sure that the sunscreens were all good and up to date and there was nothing that was empty or expired or anything. And then I went ahead and put it back in the closet. At first I was going to put it up high, but then I decided that I wanted it to be kind of at eye level so we could easily grab things from it when we need them instead of having to reach up high. This was really funny to me because I forgot I had this bin up there in the closet. I really couldn't see it because there was just so much stuff, but inside of it was my old purse from when I used to work a nine to five job. And I haven't touched this bag one time since my last day of working at that company. So to go through everything and find all the things that were kept in my bag and I used to use on a daily basis, it felt like I was 
looking into the life of someone else entirely. It's been so long since I've worked in an office, so it's kind of nostalgic and just interesting to go through this bag. But that being said, I haven't touched any of this stuff or needed any of this stuff in years, so I did go through it just to make sure there wasn't anything like super sentimental or valuable in there, but for the most part, everything else I was able to get rid of because since I haven't needed it for so long, I'm definitely not going to need it anytime in the future. I don't carry a purse anymore ever. I have my Lululemon belt bag that I bring with me when I'm going out with the kids. I also have a diaper bag backpack that I bring sometimes, but I'm just not a purse person anymore. So you guys will have to let me know, is there still a market for this kind of stuff? Could I sell this Michael Kors bag or is, has everybody kind of moved on from carrying a bag? So what we ended up doing with this organizer was I held it up while my husband screwed in some screws into the door and he also used a washer to kind of block them so that it's not going to fall off of the screws if that makes sense. But this worked great and the door was able to close after this so we were able to use this. I really really like this organizer other than the fact that it didn't work the way that it was intended to. It's really nice because it's large, it's got a lot of different compartments and you can store things in here other than shoes. So you'll see here that I'm putting away mostly shoes into this organizer, but I ended up with so many empty spaces that I could use for other things. Obviously, I'm not intentionally trying to fill up every single space of my home, but it's just good to know that we have this space here and all of the shoes were able to fit into the closet and they're not all over my house anymore like they were before. So some of these compartments I used for things like we have a cat harness and a leash that I had nowhere else to put and then our masks in case we need them at some point instead of keeping them in that bin. I also stored like my son's goggles for when we take him to the pool. So it was just really nice to have a place to put those things because otherwise we really don't have a space in our home for them. We also recently hung up this shelf, which you can see to the left of the door. And that's a shelf that my dad and I built together in 2020. And I really like to have that by the door because sometimes it's just easier to walk over and hang a sweatshirt or a jacket, something that we're grabbing every single day from a hook than it is to grab a coat hanger and get it hung up into the closet. And I was finding that we were kind of using our dining room table as a closet because we were too lazy to go put them into the closet. So it's just much easier sometimes to use those hooks and we've definitely found it to be helpful for us on keeping down the clutter on the table. But now I wanted to do another vacuum because obviously taking all the shoes out of the closet, there was dirt and stuff on them. So my floors were kind of messy and just wanted to quickly clean them up. And then I will show you guys the super satisfying before and after. So one more time to remind you of what this situation was looking like before. We just did not have enough space for all of our shoes and our jackets. Things were overflowing in the closet. It was becoming impossible to find anything and we were also having a tendency to put things on our dining room table that really did belong in this closet. So again, just a reminder of what we started with and now I'm going to show the after. Things are looking so much better. We have a space for everything. The things that we may need as we're running out the door are right there, available to us, easy to see. And the best part is it's all cleaned out and ready for the spring season. I just love a fresh start in the spring.
I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration or some ideas for some spring cleaning and organizing in your home. I post new organization videos every single week here on my channel. So if you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and come back every single Wednesday for another video. I also do have a cleaning channel that is separate from this one and that one is Catherine Elaine Cleaning. So if you're interested, come follow me over there. Thank you so much for watching. Another big thank you to Bellway for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click the link in my description box down below to save 25% on your first order at Bellway. And I hope I'll see you again next week for another video.